Hey everybody, this is Bruce Zabowski Studio. We're uh, going to be doing a little painting today here at Freeport, uh, in Freeport, Maine at Wolf's Neck State Park. And just a little 8x10, super quick study, nothing big time. I'm camping here with a friend and uh, we just want to get out for some hiking and I wanted to get out and do a little uh, sort of a seascape, not like the ocean uh, crashing waves, but still pretty cool. So thank you for joining me and enjoy the video. Just sitting here in Freeport State Park doing a little painting on a camping trip, a three day camping trip in the area with a friend of mine. And we're at uh, Wolf's Neck State Park. We've been here many years ago. And uh, I just thought we'd check out beautiful weather here in Maine. It's about probably 70 degrees right now, 71 maybe. Very awesome. So just sketching out some burnt sienna and ultramarine blue. I'm not looking for super perfection today. I'm just out having some fun. We're doing a little hiking. Gonna just enjoy the day. But I wanted to test out this GoPro for you guys to see what kind of footage it's gonna create for long-term use. And I'm using a limited palette here of burnt sienna, titanium white, ultramarine blue, CAD, oh actually it's Hansa Yellow Light U-Track, Lizard and Crimson, and some, uh, I believe it's Viridian Green. Yep. A little impasto gel to uh, mix with the paint. Keep it simple. Just going with my lightweight kit today. But I like this foreground rock structure. Check that out. The key with this camera usage is I have it mounted on my chest, so I hope it's going to stay stable for you guys. Not jumping around too much. Working on a canvas panel. Uh, what is this? It's a Churion linen painting panel. Don't you normally use these? Normally use just plain just so MDF panels, but it would give a nice texture. I'm going to pick and choose the rocks I want because they're not perfectly designed. So, just getting some basic shapes in. And I'm going to try to put the paint on like I did in my last video. I really want to try to work on expanding on that. And today I'm going to use just some um, purpley tone for my base shadows and work out from there for getting the tone. I think we'll give a nice under undertone to start. Scrubbing in. I'm not going for thick paint right now. I'm in painting in sunlight. I don't have my umbrella. So that's okay. And I may not get the complete version of this painting. We might clip it out and show you the parts because we're just enjoying the day and doing different things. We'll see. I especially like in the distance the purpley tree line back there. I want to accentuate that. Play up the tone of that purple. And I don't want to make it too dark, especially in the sunlight. Because uh, when I get home, it's going to be too dark very bright and clear out today very very nice day <laughs> getting some reflection off the metal on my brush is very distracting and I experimented with painting them with a nail polish black nail polish and on a few of them Seem to help, but I don't have it on this one. So, hopefully it doesn't blind you. Okay, folks, I know, look, my painting looks a little different. It's because the tide was coming in in my other location, so I'm starting a brand new painting. I wiped out that one. 
thanks to my friend that's sitting in the shade watching me going hey uh your feet are getting your bag's getting wet and so it was in about two inches of water so here we go starting a new painting similar view i've just moved up the slope a bit so i can maximize the amount of time switch to some bigger brushes to try to maybe paint quicker just this filbert kind of big flat and just going more sketchy today uh, if i have time to resolve shapes i will but all i'm concerned about right now is getting some accurate color tones in there and i'll work on the paint application aspect potentially back at camp i don't know we'll see how the time frame and tide works out and my friend here is going to be patient about hanging out doing some other random filming from different angles so he's actually a movie maker so i'm counting on him to get some good strategic shots that i might not think about So this is basically going to be a down and dirty version of some painting here, folks. I hope uh, with the chest cam you'll get an interesting point of view. Sorry about the dappled sunlight. It is what it is today because we're hiking some trails and I don't want to carry too much gear. But the umbrella I probably could have managed. I just forgot it in the car in the parking lot. And uh, the previous layer that I had painted on there, I wiped it off pretty good. Had it in some for just a couple minutes, so it's probably not going to be totally dry. So I'm going to try to overlay without disturbing that film of tone. Once I get it to where I'm going to stop, maybe I'll get it out in sunlight and give you a sense of what it looks like. I'm glad I'm getting a little bit of shade so I don't have to fight the sunlight. Finding an average value and tone for an area of color. And then I'll nuance it once I get all the tones in there and figure out what I need to push-pull for warmer, cooler, and that sort of thing. Seems to be a nice working method for a quick sketch. We'll see. I don't stick to one method repeatedly, but some tend to just repeat themselves because they're very natural for me. You'll find your natural mode of operation too. My friend's favorite word is system. So you'll find your favorite system. Okay, I'll catch up to you when I get some rocks and water going on. Okay, now I'm gonna start getting some uh, rock shapes in here. And don't worry about trying to capture every little striation in the rock. I'm trying to find a happy medium of tones to suggest the idea of the rocks because you're just not going to have the time unless you really study and that'll be tricky for most people getting a tone here trying to get the brightness I see here so I have something to key the other colors to. I'm trying to have variety in that tone because that's okay. Don't worry about it. It could not look good. It helps to have a starting tone that's a kind of a neutral of a mass of the colors you're going to be painting, so that you don't have to fight that also. So, try to get some of the strongness of, and I could interject a palette knife for this, but I'm trying to use this filbert, but I'm going to switch over to my Tuscan series brushes, my chiseled flats. And see what happens. Okay, so just chatting with some people too. It's a very busy place here as we can see. Good and bad. Good sometimes they can chat and you're trying to paint, but I enjoy that. And always think of this angle too, especially because I knew when I picked the spot that it was going to be busy as part of my painting area. But use that as an opportunity to tell people about yourself when the, don't like beat them in the head with it, but 
if the conversation leads that way and tell them what you do and it's a good way to advertise yourself and let people know there's no 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 badness in that some people think oh I don't want to be bothered well you know what you're outdoors painting and it's I think it's a it, for me, I think it's my responsibility to be an ambassador when someone asks about painting and what I'm doing and give them some knowledge. People, you know, some want to be educated about it, so I like it. Getting there on the... The rocks are going to be a challenge for me for the time frame I have. I'm going to tell you that right now, that uh, no teasing with comments about my rocks looking like cotton balls, because they probably will. <laughs> we'll see. Rocks take a lot of study and a lot of years, so that's why I want to get back to Monhegan for the cliffs. They're very angular, and I think I can do a good job with them for painting. Uh, one of these years, maybe next year, get out there, take my personal assistant behind me filming. The key with some of this, I can see a palette knife being handy in this because you can get some very distinct sharp edges because rocks are not always soft edged. Depends on their geological makeup and uh, other factors, but I think it works better to compress some of the contrasts and values to create more stronger just shapes, but I'm just trying to get a few in there. Again, it's more of a little quick color study notation which I am liking that part a lot still quite a challenge oh my seaweeds covered up my seaweed is covered up Rick I missed out this area in here I saved for the, some uh, kelpie stuff sitting on top so um, it's gone now as we can see the tides coming in big time Still got to work on that when painting the coast. Is pay attention to the tides. This might just be a quick little study. I don't know. There's a nice little tidal pool that's left in there I want to try to capture because the texture of the canvas will be nice. Right in there, once I paint this, I'll get in that sky tone. There's a tidal pool in there. Might be able to capture that pretty good. Let me get some paint mixed up here. Not sure how this is going to pan out because it has to be level. Just trying to plant a stroke and leave it. Plant a stroke and leave it, plant a stroke and leave it. Intermix a little more blue into the uh, burnt sienna in between. Lighten it up a little more. Another little dab. So you create your visual variety with just adding different tones of paint. Okay, now what, I'm, what I've done, I get this, I don't have a lot of selection in my little go light kit here, but I'm gonna be using this. The water's gotten a little choppy with the tide coming in, so I like the idea of a little bit of highlights from sky breaking into this reflection of the trees. Don't keep going and going because it's going to mix with the paint underneath. Pick up some more paint. Try to lay it on there. You don't have to go crazy with it, but... You get the gist of it and you can finesse it more in the studio. All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this short. I would have tweaked it a little more, but we're really running out of time here. Take a look.
it is lapping at the shores right here and this has come in fairly quickly i've been at this i don't know 20 minutes half hour and i know in another 15 20 minutes we're going to be really crowded up here with water so we're going to get out of here it's just fun to get out and uh, do a little little play with the limited palette and yeah it was it was interesting okay so uh we're headed back to the car drop things off and go for a little hiking uh we really had the tide coming in on us so i had to cut it a little more shorter than i wanted to but it happens what are you gonna do hope you still enjoyed it and if you're new to the channel i want to thank you for joining me i invite you to subscribe be sure to hit the bell notification icon to be alerted as when i post you're new videos to this trail pretty quick but you still probably and uh be sure to check me out on Facebook and Instagram at Habowski Studio. See you later.